Well, a new Fox poll shows that many Americans feel better about the economy than they did two years ago. 41% of voters rate the economy positive, which is better than the 33% who felt that way when President Trump took office. Uh, but the number is down from 47% last month and the lowest mark we've seen since August of 2017. Let's bring in Courtney Dominguez. She's a wealth advisor at Payne Capital Management. And sometimes it's not about what is actually happening with the market. It's how we feel about the market. And I think the same goes for the economy. Very much so. And I really think we're seeing the markets take off here because of investor sentiment on the market. And it's very much justified by all the data that's coming out. If we take a look at the U.S. here, we're seeing really strong job numbers. We're seeing unemployment still lower than 4%. And when we look at household debt, it's lower than it has been even going up to the Great Recession here. So all that data is really showing that the economy is in a really good place. All the doom and gloom I think we saw last year was really overstated. So we're seeing all that optimism come back in. And I think justifiably so, as the economy is still in a really strong place here. You know, it's interesting because we're, we've been covering Davos. Maria Bartiromo has been in Davos talking to some mm -hmm. of the biggest CEOs, of course, in the world. The Verizon CEO, Hans Vestberg, was on with her. And he actually, she asked him this exact question about kind of the perception of a global slowdown. Listen to what he told her. If I look uh, in the U.S. market, I mean, technology is so important for our daily life. And so far, we have seen that that continues to be an important piece. But of course, if it's a huge slowdown, I mean, then people will, of course, start thinking about their communication bill as well. But so far, it's such an essential for your life. So you continue to invest in it. Gr growth in technology. Brian Moynihan also mm -hmm. was on with Maria. So the same thing. They see 2.5% global growth. These CEOs, they're on, their fingers are on the pulse. And they say that... The IMF may be getting it wrong, and the slowdown of the Chinese economy is 6.6 percent. I mean, come on, it's 6.6 percent for China. So why all the doom and gloom out there? Yeah, and that's something we really need to focus on. There's all of this talk about the economy not growing as fast, but it not growing as fast is very different than a recession. Yeah. So it's we're not talking about yeah. exactly. So we're <laughs> yeah. talking GDP growing between two, two and a half percent, depending on really who you're talking to. Mm -hmm. That's much more in line with the growth that we've seen this entire bull market over the last ten years. And if we look at it in that perspective, the economy has done so well over that time frame. I don't see those kind of growth numbers being a problem by any means. You know, all this talk has certainly had its effect on oil. You know, oil was actually down yesterday, down three out of the last four sessions. And, and Phil Flynn, who's one of our uh, favorite guests here on FBNM, said, look, it's all this talk about this doom and gloom out of Davos. That's kind of the talk on the floor in yep. Chicago. And then also copper prices are under pressure. That's a China story, but that's also a global story. Is that kind of those two good examples of how all this talk is now pushing into sentiment among investors and traders. Yeah, which is a really good point. And I think a lot of those things are still going to be overweighed by all the trade wars that are still getting figured out here. But we have really had a lot of progress there. And a lot of that, if, if and when that gets resolved, which hopefully is going to be very soon, will, if anything, probably boost more sentiment and more growth into the economy and into the stock markets here, which I think is, again, a very bullish sign. Yeah, no. I look, I think we, we, the year is just beginning. We have a long ways to go. And, and if earnings are going to help us out, you know, that could be another positive. Courtney, thank exactly. you so much. Thanks for getting for up early. Me. Yeah, great segment. Thank you so much.